I think this film is different from other Be Yourself films. It's more than that. It's about being yourself and expressing yourself, but also knowing that you, there's always more to learn about yourself and everyone has to go on their own journey. And I think by the end of this movie, even Stargirl learned a big thing about herself and she seems like she knows herself more than anyone. Yes, it was really fun, the whole musical side of the movie. And I actually wrote a song for one of the soundtracks that plays during the credits. So stay seated for the credits. <laughs> It's a darling movie. I'm a huge fan of the book by Jerry Spinelli, Stargirl, and Julia Hart did a lovely job with this movie, so it's thrilling to be part of it. Oh, yeah, it feels like the music is, yeah, it, it's seamless. It's part of the message. Um, Grace Vanderwall, her music and her voice is irresistible, so it feels like it was just perfect casting for who Stargirl is. It feels almost like an indie that Disney produced, and I think the message um, and also Grace's singing, it's so good. I mean, they're going to love it. Anybody who's a fan of hers. I'm really happy to be here because this story means so very much to me for a number of reasons. Uh, the book uh, was read by all four of my daughters, who when I called and said this is an opportunity for me, they said, I bet you didn't read the book yet. I said, I have not. They said, well, guess what? You're doing the movie. Um, you know, this is a, a story of inspiration, of wonder, uh, of enchantment, of being excited about life. So many of our young people today are so concerned about our world and our universe. And here we have a character who is filled up with infinite wisdom that youth have and is not afraid to express it. So for me to be here is very special. I had to be here for this premiere. I'm shooting in another country and I flew back to be here just to support this film and Disney who was so wise in their decision to make it. Grace is really wonderful and she does beat to her own drum. And I think that speaks to self-confidence and speaks to uh, the way she was raised and speaks to the vibrations that she's pulling from the universe. Some of that joy and wonder we all need to have in our lives. So I'm really happy for her. Have looked back at America's Got Talent and the things that she's won and her playing and her voice is so very special and her eyes sparkle and oh to be young again and to be so excited about life. I'm excited for them to really see a story that exemplifies what they once had and maybe have let pieces of it go throughout their life and to be reminded that to be in wonder about our world no matter where it's at and to make a choice about being the solution and being positive and spreading light is a choice that's worth making. I'm excited for people uh, to see the movie for the first time. People who haven't been able to see it yet. I've been waiting for so long for this to happen. I can't wait. Same. I'm so excited. Um, not everyone could come last night, so like some of these people I haven't seen almost since we filmed, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to see it as well. It's an important thing for everyone to hear. I think it's something that everybody needs to learn at some point, and it's the importance of you know, everybody wants to fit in, but it's the importance of keeping yourself, keeping staying, staying true to yourself while fitting in. And, I mean, my character Leo, he chose fitting in um, over being himself, and Stargirl was the opposite, so, yeah, it kind of shows everything. I, I learned how to play the ukulele, yeah. <laughs> I played guitar before, so it was pretty easy to pick up, but, yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> To me, it's neither a book nor a movie, it's a story. Uh, and it's a story that I wrote, and what happens to it beyond that, uh, that's, that's in the hands of, of the gods. Uh, so I'm just happy to get that story, whether it's in the hands of a reader, or a stage play, or a film, uh, just to get the story around. So uh, this is part of that deal, and I couldn't be happier. This movie was, I mean, in very, a very literal way, like a very, uh, uh, very family environment. I mean, my wife uh, is the director. We, um, we did a lot. We co-wrote the script with Kristen, and um, there was a very family environment, you know, with our work, and then just that really extended out to set with all the kids that are in the movie. 
Um, and it's really great to, to see them all again. It's kind of like a high school reunion. It's nice. Yeah. Seeing someone sing on camera is, um, is just, it always kind of like makes your heart beat a little bit faster and um, puts a smile on your face if it's done right. So uh, it just, it, it adds to the, um, the specialness of the movie. And then having someone like Grace, who's just such an incredible musician, um, really just elevates the entire thing. It's very exciting. You know, obviously it's a movie most people will watch at home with their families, so it's really fun to get this big, special, old-school Hollywood night to celebrate it together at this amazing theater that I've been coming to since I was a little girl. It's a dream. When I first read the script and read the book, the first song that popped into my head was Be True to Your School. It just felt like such a Stargirl anthem, and uh, I still can't believe it's actually in the movie. It's sort of surreal. I hope that people finish the movie feeling a little bit better and a little more hopeful. Uh, the young people in this movie are so phenomenal and they all totally fell in love with each other making the movie and I think it shows and they give me a lot of hope. Yeah, I think the great thing about this job, and I've been very privileged in my career to feel this way a lot of times, is that I'm very proud of Stargirl and I'm really proud of what we made. So it's nice, you know, we spent two, two and a half months in Albuquerque you know, in the cold or in the rain or in the blazing heat, trying to make this film. And, you know, there can be tough times, there can be really exciting times, but at the end, it's like so nice to take a beat to celebrate it and, I don't know, just toast to what we made. I think what's really great about this film is it's such a relevant message and a relevant theme, which is just teens tackling their identity and what it means to be themselves and embracing that and what it means to uh, tackle adversity to who you are. And I think it's really beautiful to see these characters uh, go through that journey. When I read this script and I had seen what Kristen, Jordan, and Julia had done, it was so, it was such an honest uh, description of what it's like to be a teenager in America right now. And I think that's what people are going to like the most. But it was just wonderful to see them work. And I think the respect that they have for the material and knowing, and like Jerry Spinelli is here. And so like they were so excited to see him. Um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. You know, like, we need a movie like this right now. We really honestly do. It's theme, it's, it's acceptance. You know, it's about people just being who they are and accepting people as they are and knowing that they have value. And I think it's the perfect time for, a, you know, a theme like that being pushed out into the world where it's like, you know, we're all interconnected and we all have an effect on one another's life. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a sweet story.